Now today, you will exchange vows which will unite you as husband and wife. The words are a formal and public pledge of your love and a promise of a lifelong commitment to each other. This place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriage. And we're here today to witness the joining of matrimony of Charles and Leah. If any person here present knows of any lawful impediment to the marriage, you should declare it now. <coughs> <laughs> Giles and Leah, before you're joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the, vow the vows you're about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is a union of one man with one woman, voluntarily entered into for life, the exclusion of all others. I'll ask you first if I may, please, Giles. Giles Francis Meredith, will you take Nia Wynne Morgan? be your lawful wedded wife? Will you love and respect her and stand by her through the days of your life together? Okay. And Nia Wynne Morgan, will you take Giles Francis Meredith to be your lawful wedded husband? Will you love and respect him and stand by him through the days of your life together? Okay. I shall now ask each of you in turn to repeat two sets of words. And these will be your marriage vows. I'll ask you to state that there is no lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. And then you'll call upon your guests to witness the fact that you take each other as husband and wife. Just you <coughs> I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Giles Francis Meredith. Why I, Giles Francis Meredith. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To near Win Morgan. To near Win Morgan. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, near Win Morgan. Why I, Nia Wynne Morgan, may not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Giles Francis Meredith. To Giles Francis Meredith. At this point in the sermon, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite Ian to step forward. I believe he has some rings. Mm -hmm. Hand to your brother, Nia's ring, please. Good job on the grill there. <laughs> <laughs> and if you'd like to place the ring on the third finger of Leah's left hand, just to the knuckle, and I believe your photographer's coming round to catch him up. Francis Meredith. Do take thee. Do take thee. Near Wynmorgan. Near Wynmorgan. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Whatever the future holds. Whatever the future holds. I will love and strengthen you. I will love and strengthen you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my soul pledge. This is my soul pledge.
I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present to witness, to witness that I near we will go. That I near we will go to take me, to take me, Giles Francis Meredith. Giles Francis Meredith to <coughs> be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you, and all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Whatever the future holds, whatever the future holds, I will love and strengthen you. I will love and strengthen you as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live, this is my solemn pledge. This is my solemn pledge. The giving and receiving of a wedding ring is an ancient tradition. A wedding ring is an unbroken circle which symbolises unending and everlasting love. It should be worn with pride as it's an outward sign of the lifelong promises and commitment that you've made to each other today. In the presence of family and friends, Giles and Nia have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They've declared their love by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. And I'm delighted, therefore, to declare that you're my husband and wife. 